right at the start of another heat wave here in the Texas garden and things are going a little bit slow right now not getting a whole lot of production so I figured it's a good time to show off my composting method this is how I compost with no compost bin I've got my compost piles here this pile inside the garden is sort of like the final bay in a composting bin this is my finished compost as you can see it's pretty well broken down it's actually got tree roots growing into it this is nice and broken down still got some little pieces of leaf litter and little twigs in it but for the most part this is about as good as it's going to get further down in here you can see more roots but to me that's a sign that it's about time to start using it because everything else is starting to you may as well get to it before they do right on the other side of the fence there I have my active compost pile that I'm still feeding let's take a look at that this is my active compost pile you can see plenty of half broken down stuff even on the top lots of bigger pieces of wood they're kind of breaking down you can see the mycelium growing on them this pile is probably around 110 degrees it's not much hotter than the outside temperature so I think it's time that I give it another boost generally once every week or two I'll put old coffee filters unbleached if that makes any difference and all of my coffee grounds and any food scraps that I've saved up into this pile then once it seems like the activity in the pile is slowed down or about to stop I'll bust into it and add some more got various little stuff sprouting in here looks like maybe a cucumber seed every week I just scrape back the more finished looking stuff around the edge I'll dig down into the middle and kind of shake things up got lots of seeds growing in here this has broke up pretty well in the last week I've got scraps from the last few nights of dinner and anything from the fridge that didn't get used there's some old slimy onion greens I've got some onion peels and tomato and lime hulls got some pepper tops and I got a bag of mostly cabbage a little bit of onion skin in there too I'll take that and mix it up in the center of my pile let me know if you want to see a compost pile get started I'm about to the point that I need to start a new one I just kind of roughly mix it together till it looks pretty blended with the middle of the pile and then I scoop the sides back on top I'm not looking to get a bunch of compost as soon as I can I'm just looking to keep a compost pile going in my garden at all times so I just kind of pile it up not gonna make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things for my purposes once everything's pretty thoroughly mixed I like to stab a few holes with my fork I think this is a spading fork and then I just give it a little soak with the water hose and put the thermometer back in it 
I didn't feel like bringing the hose over, so I just grabbed a two and a half gallon can. I'm gonna cover the top just a little more. Just to say I did it. I live out in the country and I don't really have a whole lot of pests that get in here, so it doesn't really matter a ton to me, but sometimes you gotta cover things up just to make yourself feel a little better. As you can probably see, I didn't cover everything up, but I covered it to the point that I'm happy with it. I used to cover it with a tarp, or a piece of canvas actually, but I don't bother with that anymore. I don't think it makes a huge difference. I don't really go for a whole lot of rules with my compost. As long as it's not getting over, I don't know, 135 degrees, I don't add any more brown material. But if I did want to do that, I got two big sacks of leaves over there, and I got piles of corn stalks over there. Any type of dry material will do pretty well. But that's that. Looks like I've lost about 10 degrees. It's come down to ambient temperature. And in a couple of days, it ought to be back up to 110, maybe 120 degrees. Usually if I open it midweek, it's got some steam billowing off of it. So I know it's getting hot enough for my purposes. I used to go through all the hoops to get things going real fast and keep it at a certain temperature, keep it super wet, water it every couple of days. and It didn't really seem like I got a whole lot better result. It might have been quicker. It might have technically killed more pathogens, but compost is compost in my eyes. As long as you're adding organic matter into the ground and you're not putting anything too sketchy in there, like roadkill or you know uncooked meat, I guess fish, all of that stuff, I like to bury anyway in my melon pits where I grow my squash and pumpkins and watermelon and cantaloupe and so I don't really bother with all the technical stuff I just put some leaves or some dry corn stalks or whatever I've got really cardboard if that's all that you have for brown material I add a whole bunch of grass clippings when I've got them before everything goes to seed in the spring I had kitchen scraps throughout the summer through the winter in the fall and spring you can get some good input bulk input but for the most part i just add what i've got coming out of the kitchen i don't worry about it breaking down fast i'm just worried about it not going to waste staying in my little closed loop no waste is going out only thing coming out is what we eat i think i replenish more than enough with store-bought scraps whenever it comes to closing the loop there. I think it works pretty well. The trees seem to like what's in there, full of roots, to the point I'm gonna have to use it soon. Anyway, that's about it. You can go complicated, you can keep it simple. Just make compost. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be growing. As long as you can end up with some sort of output for all of your input, I think you're doing just fine. I hope you enjoyed my binless compost maintenance. I know I enjoyed making some good compost and getting some scraps to not go into the landfill in the process. I'll see you in the next one.